I eat blueberries for breakfast almost every single day. For several years, I have noticed an interesting color change when I rinse the residue left in my bowl after eating blueberries. Do you notice the color change from a red purple to a blue gray? I have often wondered what causes this color change. There are some who argue that this color change is due to an acid base reaction, but I'm not so sure. I actually think metal ions are responsible. To investigate this idea, I'm going to test the blueberry residue in each of these two bowls. To the first bowl, I'll add water from my tap, which contains a small amount of dissolved metal ions. As usual, I see the color change. Now to the second bowl, I'll add some distilled water, which does not contain metal ions. Notice that in this case, we do not see the color change. I'd like to explore the possibility that an acid-base reaction is causing the color change. First, let's test the pH of the combination of tap water and blueberry residue. Into this beaker go blueberries and some tap water I collected from my home. It looks as though the pH is around 5.6 to 5.9. Because pH values below 7 are acidic, it looks like the combination of tap water and blueberry residue is slightly acidic. Now that we know the pH of our mixture is about 6, let's observe the color of the blueberry residue at various pH values. We'll test pH values of 4, 6, 8, and 10. Notice that pH values of 4 and 6 are acid, while pH values of 8 and 10 are basic. It looks as if the blueberry mixture appears red at pH 4, red-purple at pH 6, blue-purple at pH 8, and blue at pH 10. Okay, now let's see what happens when we add tap water to some blueberries. As I compare the colors, it appears the color of the blueberries in tap water most closely matches the colors of the blueberries at pH 8. But this doesn't make any sense because we know the tap water and blueberries are lower than pH 6. So the color of blueberries in tap water must be due to something other than simply pH and acid base effects. Now let's examine the possibility that the color change might be due to the presence of metal ions in the tap water. We'll do this by mixing blueberry residue with various dissolved metal ions. First, let's coat a bunch of containers with blueberry residue. Okay, I think we're just about ready for the test. I'm going to add some water that has no ions into this container. Not much of a color change there. Now we'll add solutions of various metal ions to each container. First, sodium ions. Not much of a color change there. To this one, we'll add calcium ions. Magnesium ions. I don't know, it doesn't look like much is going on here. Let's try copper. Hey, I see a shift of blue there. We might be onto something here. Aluminum ions. I see another color shift of blue. Here's some zinc ions, another blue shift, and finally we'll try some iron ions. We'll mix these all up, and then we'll compare it to the color that we see when the blueberries are mixed with tap water. Well, it certainly appears that iron ions, copper ions, aluminum ions, and zinc ions shift to a blue color, but boy, we get a really good match with copper. That makes me wonder, if several of these ions, and mostly copper, is responsible for the color change that's observed when blueberry residue is rinsed with tap water. The fact that blueberry residue changes color when exposed to metal ions such as copper is a well understood phenomenon. Blueberries get their color from molecules called anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are responsible for the red, blue, and purple color found in many fruits, vegetables, and plants. While anthocyanins do change color at different pH values, they can also change color due to interactions with metal ions. When anthocyanins bind to metal ions, they tend to take on a blue color.